How to uninstall Avast Antivirus? Do you know you can do it in three different ways on Windows, yet only in one in Mac? It happens that you can't uninstall Avast due to its unstable work or you forgot the protection password. Subscribe and stay tuned. Uninstall Avast on Windows 10, the basic way. The first and the optimal method to uninstall Avast since it requires a minimum number of actions. One, close all other programs and disconnect the device from the internet. If you are using a laptop, you can turn on airplane mode. Right click on the start button and select apps and features here. If you have problems with this, then you can use an alternative system utility. Press the Windows and R buttons at the same time to open the run utility. Next type app wiz.cpl and press enter. This will open programs and features an alternative version of the program manager in Windows 10. In any case, then you need to follow four simple steps. Find Avast Antivirus in the list, click on it, click uninstall and confirm the start of the uninstallation process. If Avast Antivirus was not damaged, then it will open the uninstaller where you need to select uninstall again and confirm this in a special pop-up window. Wait for the end of the uninstall process. If you are asked to take a survey, uh, you can take the opportunity to let developers know what you think about their product. At the same time, ignoring this process will not affect the process of stopping and uninstalling the program. And that's all. Don't forget to reboot and restore uh, access to the internet. Avast Removal Tool Sometimes removing the Avast antivirus with a basic method is impossible or works incorrectly. For such cases, the vendor has released the Avast Removal Tool, a free utility that is a standalone uninstaller for all Avast products. By the way, this utility is also the only option to remove Avast antivirus if you have forgotten your password. 1. So open your browser and enter Avast Removal Tool into the address bar. In Google, the required link will be the first one after the ads. You can also manually open the desired page by typing avast.com slash uninstall utility into the address bar and pressing enter. 2. On the page, find and click on avastclear.exe. Uh, it will be highlighted in blue and it is a hyperlink. When you click on it, the automatic download of Avast Removal Tool will be initiated. Run this utility and the first thing it will offer you is to reboot the system into safe mode. This is a special Windows boot mode where only basic system processes are active. As you can see, you can select no and try to use it as is, but then the antivirus self-defense module may not allow you to remove it and will block any actions if you activate password protection. Therefore, it is better to click yes to restart Windows in safe mode, close all third-party programs and click yes again. Regardless of the selected option, you will work with the Avast removal tool. Uh, by the way, you can see in safe mode, Avast is not active, so self-defense modules will not prevent its removal. There is only one uninstall button here, so press it and the utility begins deleting Avast files and folders. At the end of this process, don't forget to click restart computer to boot your system in normal mode. Uninstall software. The basic uninstaller leaves such service files as logs, licenses, and other leftover files on the disk, including data in the system registry. If you want them to be removed as well, you can do it with a special uninstaller utilities. Take iobit uninstaller for example. This is a way for those who want to fully remove a vast antivirus along with all its leftovers. Download iobit uninstaller from the official iobit.com website or use the links in the video description to download. Or get a review of this software. Run the executable file to initiate installation. Check for additional features and recommended software and untick the ones you don't need and click uninstall. Be prepared for additional marketing offers during this process. After installation, iOBIT installer will be automatically launched. Here in the All Programs section, find Avast Antivirus and click on this Recycle Bin icon next to it. Turn on the automatic removal of residual files and click uninstall to launch the uninstaller embedded in Avast. Confirm the start of the deletion and go through 
the survey if you wish. After the end of the uninstall process, click restart later to let iobit install a find and remove the residual program files. After removing the detected residual files, restart your PC through the start menu. Note that if you have any problems with an installation of a vast antivirus in a basic way or with iobit uninstaller, then you should use the Avast removal tool in safe mode. Uninstall Avast on Mac. Mac OS uses a different data structure for programs than Windows, so Avast uh, uninstalling is an easier process here. Run Avast from the tray or from the list of programs. In the upper left corner, click on Avast and select Uninstall. Then a standard software removal process on the Mac platform. Click Continue and confirm the start of the uninstallation process. Wait a bit and voila! Avast is deleted. As an additional option, you can also delete the Avast installation file and search for its leftover through the device. For example, as you can see, I found such files in applications. P.S. Why manually removing Avast is a bad idea. Avast antivirus has built-in protection against remote attacks on its components. The Corsair system is a self-defense module that monitors the integrity of the main antivirus files in real time. When a user tries to uninstall Avast manually by deleting regular files, this module blocks such actions as it looks suspicious. And even if you can delete some uh, Avast files, this will only lead to unstable operation of secondary antivirus modules. For the same reason, you should not try to remove Avast entries from the registry as advised in some articles on the internet. To do this, it is better to use the uninstaller software during the uninstallation of advanced system care with uh, the registry key function. A link to a review of this program is available below the video. If you still have some questions about the Avast antivirus, uh, uninstall process, comment below and we, the IT Reviews team, will try to help you. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video, it is really important for us, thanks for watching and have a nice day.